continue talking to AI and testing Looker Studio Pro. Hey, my name is Kala. I'm Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gale Reports. If you subscribe to my emails, you will receive free Looker Studio template. On my website, you can find a lot of Looker Studio template for marketing and sales and blog about Google Sheets, Looker Studio and BigQuery for marketing. So I have Looker Studio Pro account and I have here a conversational analytics that I wanted to try. I already prepared um, some data set that I wanted to test because when you connect data, you can connect your Looker. Don't confuse with Looker Studio, this is a Looker. You can connect BigQuery table, Google Sheets or upload CSV file. On my previous week, I wanted to query G4 data. It is not nice. I mean, raw G Google Analytics for data is not prepared for analytics. So we have to prepare data. On my previous video, I created a query and I created data set with information by day. I have it in Google Sheets and we will connect BigQuery and see how our analytics, how can we talk with our data with AI agent. So let's connect BigQuery. I have my test project, this folder that I created, and this is my table. I want to connect this table and talk about this data. This is my experiment, so I don't know. What question do you have about this data? This is some option uh, like suggestions from AI. Let's see. What is the total number of active users per, sort, per source across all data? Calculate the average daily purchase revenue for each default channel group. Which medium has the highest total transactions in the last 30 days? What the average engagement time? Interesting. So let's talk in the beginning what is this table about? What we can know from this table? I like to start from this, like to understand that I, how do I see this table and how AI sees this table? It's much. Okay. This table contains daily data about website traffic, including source, media, and channel group, user engagement metric, number of users, new returning engagement time, transactions, the table's data source. Okay. And the fields include date, source, medium. Nice. Okay, I like this answer. I agree. And now you know what table I have in mind and what do we want to know. So we have dates, source, medium, channel, and okay. I can say my question could be what is the where what okay, we have active users from which channel channel group we have active users and how the pro proportion between channels changed over time Sorry for its weird English, but I think, I hope it's clear. So I think the point is, by my experience talking to AI and analytics stuff, let's read it slow. I will write a query for the question. Okay, here is a query result. It shows our query result with default channel group, date active users. I agree, that is what I asked. I want to compare a different channel group by date and active users. Totally agree. Then it plot the active users by default channel group over time and give a title to this chart. Active users by default channel group over time. Maybe for robots it's nice, but for me it is a bit difficult to read. We can see, oh, we can see it's in table, we can see it in chart. It's really comfortable. So, 
for me it's nice and we can see that we have organic traffic more but with this it's difficult to read really difficult to read we can say that this one like little pink search was like some it was paid advertising here and here we have only organic stuff and i cannot tell much based on this chart but it's super nice that gemini created chart for us here is a chart of active users by default channel group over time please see the chart for the proportions between channels changing over time the chart is title okay so we can open insights couldn't generate inside this time try a different request okay i like this but can you do i can tell what i think about this it's this chart chart is good but difficult to read can you do it month over month without dots please i don't know if i need my please but okay and i am interested in your in sites we just check in how ai works with my data I don't know how to read this. Plot the active user default channel group. Okay. So we did grouping by month, but still chart is not really nice. I prefer some other view because it's difficult to read. But please see the chart for the proportion between channels changing over time. The chart is active users still is offer me several options <clears throat> this data and like actually i don't like that it doesn't i don't have any insights <clears throat> because i would like to see some text like oh your organic search grow okay let's see what it's offer me some options to analyze this data, comparing active users across different channel groups, examine trends and new users, returning users in total. Okay. Can I have some insights? So, what do I think? Okay, I have some insights finally, right? The average active users transaction purchase revenue for channel group is shown in the table. Search has the highest average active users with 13.45, while organic has 7.75. What is it? Search template store has 7.17. The channel group, the highest average purchase revenue direct referral okay it's kind of insights but i think I, I can get more from this data to be honest i could have from this data something like okay let's try to ask differently how organic search active users grown over time mm, sorry i do mistakes but i think it's fine maybe we should ask easier questions but i think my question was kind of easy okay so it runs some query The query for the questions, the query runs successfully, but no data match the criteria. Is it not organic search? I have organic and I have search. Okay. Which data source do I have? Organic channel active users over time. 
Okay, so we are growing. You can see that we're growing over month over month. Please see the chart for the growth of organic search active users. The chart is titled organic. Yes, I like it. Can you make can you make this chart month over month with linear with bars? Let's try to maybe it does it can change bars. Let's see. But it's nice data set. Okay. And this is our... What is zero? Can you use... Maybe it will continue. So it's really weird. Why num? Like, I want just months over months. I mean, like... Just move this from dates to month. Okay. Uh... I mean the previous chart was shown data by day. I want to see it on bars for each month. Does it work like this? So it's really funny. I don't know what I can see here. I think if you ask like specific question, you can have charts. If you can have charts and you can see some trends and you can see some ideas for your dashboards. Because I think it is faster to create. So maybe it is faster if you are not used to Looker Studio interface, you can talk with your data and you can try to find something. Why exclude in May and June? Okay, I didn't understand. Like this, yeah, I didn't understand me, unfortunately. It seems so. And this is sad. I don't know why it excludes May and June. Organic channel active users by month 24. 24. So why we exclude limit to first six months? So I just don't understand why it excludes. Okay. Okay, let's see. For now, I think it could be nice opportunity to explore your data, but still I would create dashboard by myself. Mm. I don't know. I really don't know what is doing. 24 okay okay can we back to the chart where use data by day just group it by month so definitely you have to know how to talk with this I think it can read your data and can read your data quite well and if you know how to ask and what to ask you can have nice insights but I would use it to find some trends to find some ideas and then create dashboard now it's still continue to do like some shit that I don't need Okay, I think I can find, I can stop this video, so I try to ask, I can play around if I find some nice scenarios how to talk to Gemini and find some insight from my data, I will record in your video. If you have any ideas or you have your cases, how did you do it, how did you use this conversion analytics and you have like successful user case, it will be nice to hear. 
so let's talk about it about I'm testing it I still am not professional so I'm like uh, in conversional analytics but I, it's something really interesting and probably soon it will be much better than now because now you see it's I don't know what can I do with this <laughs> subscribe to my channel i have more practical videos where i do some more useful probably and talk to you soon bye bye